Hi, welcome to Arty Crafty Alchemy. I recently did a couple of Kaisercraft orders. So today I am sharing with you the Magenta collection. I had to do this over a couple of orders to get all the pieces because the first 50% off, which is when I buy my Kaisercraft things, they didn't have collectibles and a couple other things. So I split it over two orders and that way I could have everything. We will start with the cut aparts. Everybody should know by now how much I love cut aparts. I am going to cut this one of these up to make some cards. On the back, we just have some ombre painterly stripes. We must take adventures in order to know where we truly belong. And then we've got lots of sentiments. Our love grows with every memory we make. Natural beauty, the best is yet to come. Bloom as if you want to make the whole world beautiful. Start each day with a grateful heart. And this one is Rouge. Now these other two I just bought extra ones of, so we'll look at them when I open up the pack. This first one is called Fuchsia, and we have the beautiful watercolour flowers on the front. And on the back we have the black and white polka dot. Love lets us see ordinary things in an extraordinary way. Then this one is called Flamingo, and we have some more beautiful pink and orange florals. If we don't change we don't grow if we don't grow we aren't really living and then we have some painterly things where it looks like they've added some floral type images in and they're just very hard to see this one is called Rosa and on the back it has a smaller leaf and floral pattern there is always something to be thankful for this one is called candy and it has the splotches of watercolour in the orange and the pink. Grey tone on tone florals and leaves. Take time to stop and enjoy the little things. Might have to try seeing if we can add some colour to that very gently. Then we have a grey piece very similar to the pink piece and this one is called raspberry and on the back it has loved you yesterday, love you still, always have, always will and we have a floral in the corner and then some fibre paper and then this is pomegranate and we have the beautiful florals on the front and on the back we just have little paint strokes of black so very thankful incredibly grateful unbelievably blessed because we now have the sticker books as well they've gone back to giving us the alphabets i don't use the alphabets very often but they do come in handy if you want to do specific sentiments that you don't perhaps have the stamps for or names love you one day at a time start each day with a grateful heart making today one to remember you make me smile captured in my heart forever and we have lots of border strips don't forget to enjoy the little things in life next is the paper pad we have a smaller version of big papers so we have the orange and pink florals the pink painterly type page this one has black foil with all the pretty flowers then we have this fibre type paper, itty bitty leaves and florals. Here we have a spotty pink and black page. And then we have the grey version of that painterly. Actually reminds me of when you put watercolour down and then you grab a paper towel and lift up some of the colour. And we have two strips, the florals in the corner. This is the gorgeous florals. That's tone in tone on the big paper. On this one it has the beautiful magenta foiling. Then we have the gorgeous florals, another painterly type one, splotches of colour which is spot varnished. We have half a page of coloured florals, half a page of black and white and you could actually cut those out and use them as pieces of ephemera if you wanted to. A plain piece of paper. Weird. There's absolutely nothing on that. I wasn't expecting that. And then the paint splats and that one is clear spot varnished. Our love grows with every memory we make. Live life in full bloom. The best is yet to come. For the moments you can't put into words. Now these are this section without this smaller section at the bottom of the bigger paper but in smaller pieces. We have the ombre piece. Then this is paint swipes and it is spot varnished. Then we are on to the die cut pages. Happy birthday, thank you, love always, take time to stop and enjoy the little things, wishing you a wonderful day, life is beautiful, thinking of you. We have some florals, then we have our border strips and tabs. This time we have some frames and each section does pop out. Happy
happiness is simply being with you, my favourite. Loving you is easy. Love for someone very special. Be the reason someone smiles today. Best of luck just for you. And a couple of floral tags. And we have some tabs. Beautiful. Good luck. Thanks. And then congrats. Wishing you a wonderful day. Let's celebrate. Just for you. Thinking of you. Thank you. Best wishes. And that is the end of the small book. Grab the sticker book now. So the sticker book has 12 pages and there's six different pages and they are quite sturdy stickers. We have lots of florals, black and white florals. We have you and me. Water strips, happiness looks good on you. Different roads often lead to beautiful destinations. You are my happy place. Start each day with a grateful heart. And then a bunch of florals and spots and things. Lots more beautiful florals. My book felt extra thick. I actually got one, two, three, four of them. <laughs> Life is beautiful. Bloom as if you want to make the world beautiful. Happiness is simply being with you. Florals, banners, love this day. These ones would work nicely in a planner. It's the little things in life. Do all things with love. And then we have more florals, floral strips, triangle strip. We have an itty bitty alpha. More words. I love you, so blessed. Moments, lots of florals, memories, together. And some tabs and some itty bitty labels and that is the last one just double checked and i did get all six of the pages i just managed to snag some extra stickers finally we'll look at the die cuts there is 36 or more pieces they're getting less and less i buy them half price and for this one because i have so much of the collection i actually bought three this time cluster of florals live in the moment a fly flower flowers flower believe in you there is sunshine in my soul flower together happy butterfly flower leaves love heart pain heart leaves Two different sizes of flowers. Dreams do come true. Flower cluster is two the same. I don't know if that was a mistake or not. Beautiful. Live for the moment you can't put into words. Smile. Leaves. Love this. Flower. Leaves. Keep growing. You and me. Flower. Our love grows with every memory we make. Another flower and a flower cluster. That is the magenta collection. I am going to reset and come back with a bunch of cards. Okay, I have a bunch of cards prepped, ready to make. Well, let's see if I can remember how to make them because some of them use the sticker book and I'll have to remember which stickers I need out of it. I cut the middle out of this paper to use it for something else because I really liked it. <laughs> and of course, now I've started filming, the cat is wandering about. If you stick around to the end, I also have some other projects that I have made with this collection. I used the Lawn Fawn large stitched frames for the outside and I have just cut a mat for this live life in full bloom sentiment and from the sticker book I want to grab these leaves. That's a very simple card number one done. This is a bonus card and I've forgotten to add tape to everything. I cut this banner for another card but didn't like the colour with what I was working with so I changed it and had this leftover piece so I thought I'd just chuck a few odds and ends that were left at it. To make both my banners I used the Sunny Studio Fishtails and Fishtails 2 banner dies. And there's another card done. And I used those same dies on this one. Card number three. From the sticker book, I need to grab a big leaf. I've grabbed this leaf. From and then I realised I changed my mind about using the one from the sticker book because the sticker book stickers are whiter than the actual collectibles. Now I can't decide whether to add this banner or not. Let me know what you think below with the banner, without the banner. That was card number four. 
I used my Kodamaru punch to round my corners for this card. Cat is playing with my light. I do not know why I have an extra flower in here. I'm pretty sure it wasn't for this. Neither is that. So they are in there for some unknown reason and I don't know why. You're getting kitty fur everywhere. Card number five. This one I trimmed the card down a small amount. I'm going to use the scallop border from the paper pad along the edge. The background oval is a Nelly Snellen, I think. Card number six. These two come from one piece of six by six paper. And trim off the excess. Oh man, I've forgotten what the sticker is supposed to be. Card number seven. From the sticker book, I've grabbed these leaves. Card number seven. I really wanted to use one of the really big stickers so I thought I would give it a go and then this is one of the die cuts from the paper pad again I used the Odomaru punch to round the corners for this card number nine Again, I'm going to grab some leaves from the sticker book. I just need to find them. Card 10. And then lucky last card. Again, I need the sticker book and I'm looking for that big sticker. This one up here. I need to add glue behind the beautiful. And then this You Are So is from the Crafty Potential Wonderful set. And I've heat embossed it with Nuvo Superfine White Embossing Powder. And that is card number 11. This card needs something else. I'm just not sure what yet. I'm wishing I'd done maybe a black layer underneath this one. And I used the Sunny Studios Fishtail Banners for that one. And this one. This one I used the Lawn Fawn Large Stitched Backgrounds and this one I've used a stitch rectangle die behind. This one has the Crafty Potential Embossing and I made the banner myself. This card has the Nelly Snellen Oval Punch and then the rest of the cards all I used was a corner rounder on a couple. For this one I've used the Kodamaru Corner Rounder. This one hasn't used anything except my paper trimmer and the sticker pad. Again, I've used the sticker pad for stickers and the die cuts from the paper pad. And then I've used the Kodamaru Punch again for that one. This one's just the paper pad, die cuts and the stickers. And this one is just the die cuts and the paper pad. That is the 10 cards and then I do have a couple of other projects as I promised. I've made a sticky note book, it has a magnet holding it, pink sticky notes, I've just stuck one of the banners on there from stickers. Then I have this list pad, this shopping list pad and I have this notepad. I really hope you enjoyed this look at the magenta collection and all the projects I made with it. If you did please don't forget to like this video, subscribe to see more content like this and hit the bell notification to know when new videos come out. Let me know what your favourite one was below. Thank you all for watching and I'll see you all next time. Bye for now.